What I'd like to talk to you today about is trolling. Freshwater fishermen have always embraced it. Saltwater fishermen, not so much. Uh, the offshore guys, absolutely. Inshore, everyone runs by the passes or stays completely inshore. What we're gonna show you today is how to catch a bunch of fish, even with beginners. All you have to do is troll in these passes and you can catch a variety of fish and it's an easy presentation. I guess before we get any further, the first thing we need to talk about is tackle. You can use your regular spinning rod. I prefer a bait caster for trolling or a level wind, whatever you want to call it, for one reason. It's real easy to push the button and let out a little more line at a time versus trying to flip the bail and then reel in the slack. Just much easier. Other than that, whatever you have, is exactly the tackle you need. Before I dash out to start trolling the passes to show you how great the fishing might be, the most important thing you're going to need to remember to do is put a wire leader on your line because you never know what's right out there. Spanish Max, Bluefish, who knows what else, but most of it's gonna have teeth. So any crankbait, spoon, anything will work. But without a little piece of wire, say goodbye to the $7 bait. I just got set up, put on a Yozuri Crystal Minnow and uh, number seven. And I'm just gonna just pull along here and uh, see what bites. Pretty much guarantee a ladyfish. And we'll see what else. But that's why this works so well for beginner fishermen. I'm going against the current, so I, you want to, um, I'll show you a shot here. You want to make sure you're going fast enough to really feel that bait shake. That's kind of your go-to speed. Oh, there I'm on. Ooh, oh, this one's pulling. Nice head shake. So let's just see what we got. First pass. Oh, jumped. Swimming right with the current makes it real easy to bring them in. Let's see what we get here. Ah, aha, bluefish. Nice. Now, these bluefish aren't giant, but boy, oh boy, do they fight hard. Oh, I mean, but the, the fight is amazing. Like they all say, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. That is for sure. And this is why you have steel leader. These guys right here. Well, this one is not, not giving up. Little fish grippers, handy, gotta have them. I dare you to lift them. So let me grab them, there we go. Nice blue fish, not a giant, but they're fun. Your beginner anglers will have a great time. They pull really hard. Let me let this fish go. We'll go catch another one. Boom, there it goes. Back down to bite again. You can see this is something anyone can do. It's not complicated. Just go out, throw out your baits, and start pulling. Make sure you're going about three miles an hour. It's a calmer day. It's real, current's really strong going out today. So I've got to troll a little harder to go against the current to get the speed up to where my bait's shaking. But I've had something just wallop it three times and miss it. Yep, there we go. He's on. Hit it three times. Shaking his good head shakes. Oh yeah, <laughs> this one's sporty. He may, it feels like another bluefish. It, boo, it may not be <laughs> any bigger than the other one, but boy, oh boy, this is fun. This is fun. 
catching. Pretty much non-stop catching. Here we go. Coming up. Yep. Looks like another Mr. Bluefish. Yep. Another bluefish. <laughs> Can't beat it. They are so much. Really? Whoa. <laughs> this one is not done. He says, I'm not done fighting. Not done. Not even done. <sighs> okay. Okay. Come here. Oh, no. He's... This is where you got to be careful. Just let him settle down for a minute before you try to grab him. <laughs> you can see. He's not done. He's spinning circles here. Great way to get a, a uh, hook in your hand. Sometimes if I lay him against the gunnel just a little bit, it will settle down. This one, it's not settling down. Some of these fish have so much fight in them that it just takes them a second to settle down. I'd rather not demonstrate how to get a hook in your hand. We'll save that for a different tape. Hang on. Hang on. There you go. Yes, yes. There. Okay. These little grippers. Great. Man. Take a quick sit here. Disconnect them from Mr. Trouble. There you go. Another nice, not giant bluefish. But man, for the size of these fish, they really fight. And I guarantee you there's some bigger ones. If we can get through these, we'll get a bigger one. Let me let him go real quick and we'll go get another one. There we go, get him off, there he goes. One of the things to remember is this is a all year pattern. In the fall, you've got bluefish. Actually, the bluefish are kind of here on and off all year. We've got ladyfish, the Spanish mackerel should be by any time in the fall. But pretty much, it's a 365, 24-7, all-you-can-eat fishery. So don't pass it up the next time the fish go by. And you're going, well, let's go out in the Gulf and try to catch a snapper, when you can sit here and have just a fun time fishing. Uh, whoa, man, it took like two seconds. I just, whoa, he's jumping. You have to be careful when you're reeling these fish in to not uh, keep them on a tight line, but don't just try to crank them in because you're pulling them against the current's outbound today. So I'm not pulling them hard against the current. You could pull them off. I don't want that. They're good at, they're good at that all by themselves. There he goes. Whoa, that's a sporty one. Oh, this, this one thinks he's uh, an aerial artist three that's three jumps not that many of these guys jump like that <laughs> i saw his number four or number five largemouth bass jump that's pretty nice God, you gotta love these fish they are so much fun whoa come here buddy oh hang on not ready said i'm not ready Gonna jump some more. <laughs> okay, he's jumping some more. Uh, see if I can change his mind with the gripper. Uh, if I can get him up here. Yeah, he hooked himself on the side in his acrobatics. So now there, he's holding still. At least for a minute. Got him. Good. Yeah, get out of here. I just wanted to show you that any bait will work. I switched from that Yozuri crankbait to just a, a bomber crankbait. Same thing, um, just like 295 at Walmart. They work every bit as good. And you just saw me hook that uh, big, what we thought was a big bluefish that turned up to be just another one on that very bait. Hit on. Ah. Whoa. Well, this fish is sporty. Either he's snagged or he's a lot bigger than I think he is. This sucker's pulling. Whatever it is, there's a lot more weight there. 
than there was in those other fish. See, this is why trolling is fun. It's kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Well, either this is a really big lady, a really big bluefish, or I don't know. It's not coming in like a bluefish. There's some weight. like to get a look at him. It's probably just another bluefish. Yeah, oh yeah, it is. He just was big and bad. Ah, good, he got off right by the boat. Another same size bluefish. That was actually just another bluefish. He just came off next to the boat. Some of them must use their body and turn sideways to the current, because he fought way harder than all of the other ones, but never jumped. He didn't come up, he stayed down. So let me uh, get the boat back in position here. We'll give it another try. There we go. This one just pounded it, and again, it either feels like a bigger than average bluefish, or it's just another one of those fish that's turning his body sideways to the current. It's another one of those that there's a lot of fight in the dog. These things are so much fun. It just, when, when a day like this, it's hard to leave fish, never leave fish to find fish. Perfect example. Stay out here with the family and wait till your kids are too tired to catch another one. Then you can go do what you wanted to do inshore. Yep, another bluefish. He hooked himself both hooks and that's why he was pulling so darn hard. He got sideways. See, he's coming in kind of sideways <laughs> to the current. I'll do it every time. He was so hot to grab that lure, he just crushed it. And let's see, he's spinning like a helicopter because he wants to try to hook it. All right, here we go. As you can see, he's settling. Oh, <laughs> now that was sweet. He had two hooks in him, managed to just flip himself right off. Or it would have taken me five minutes to unhook him. Thank you, Mr. Bluefish. Let's go catch another one. This is awesome. That last bluefish was crazy hooked. He snagged himself in the side. It looked like there were hooks all over him, but yet he flipped twice at the side of the boat and came off. Even though I said it before, I'll say it again. Try as you're reeling these fish and not to give them any slack. Whoa, on? No, I missed one. Um, <laughs> wow. But try not to give them any slack. It's terrible when you're buttoned up all the way in, the fish shakes, get a little slack, and they're gone. Oh, oh come on. Get. On again. You can pretty much do this until the fish just slow down. You'll know. All of a sudden, they'll just kind of stop biting. This one, luckily for me, is swimming down right to the boat, conveniently. <laughs> now he's getting sporty. All of a sudden he decided, oh, there's three with him. Three with him. Whoa. Come on, you can jump again for me there, buddy. Yeah. Okay, here we go. The last fish was hooked like this, and he flicked twice at the side of the boat, and he was off. Suppose I won't get that lucky this time. Grab him. There we go. Not. Ah, there you go. One thing that's critically important when you put your line out is don't cast it. Just go ahead and lay it next to the boat and keep a little tension on it and let it swim out. Otherwise, you stand a good chance that it might tangle on you in the air. Then you got to reel it in and throw it out there again. Word to the wise, I've done it many times. Just take the time to let it out. Oh, okay, I'm on. There we go. Whoa, that one's sporty. He's jumping already. He didn't mess with it. He just hammered it. Some of them hit 
three or four times. Like I call it telegraph strikes, where they'll tap, 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 come up, hit it, miss it, hit it, miss it, then finally decide to commit to it. Just hammer it. Like rainbow trout. Sometimes rainbow trout will do the same thing. They'll come up, hit a spinner, hit a spinner, and then that third time they'll just come up and hammer it. Yeah. Nether bluefish. What do you know? Oh, ho, ho, ho. and another fast action release. What I wanted to share with you today was doing this. I, I, I don't think there's too many things in fishing where you can catch fish like this and have a great time. Perfect for the family, wife and the kids that do a lot of fishing but not a lot of catching. And the neighbor that always wants to go, but you know, it's kind of like, can't really fish. Well, you could take him out and he'll be talking about it for a month. So. I'm glad this helped. Enjoy it. Give us a like, subscribe. We appreciate it.